Hey guys! Today I'm making a cute queen size bed in miniature. Hope you'll enjoy! First you're going to make a sketch for the head and footboard, making sure to width count the space for the frame and mattress. Once you have that, you can cut it out and trace it onto a sheet of wood. I got my wood from a miniature shop, but if you don't have this, you can also use cardboard. I then took the templates and cut them into a couple of pieces, then used the frame piece and cut this out from a sheet of pommel clay. The color of clay you use for this is not important, but if you do want to sand off some of the paint when you're done, you may want to choose a color of clay that's similar to the wood you're using. And I then used a couple of tools to make the carved looking design. Usually I do prefer carving the design into the actual wood, but I just want to show you a different method if you find that easier. You can then bake it, and don't worry, it is safe to bake it on top of the wood at such a low temperature and for such a small amount of time. You then want to take the remaining template from the headboard, cut that out from a piece of cardstock, add some dots, then add batting and fabric to the other side and start stitching. I glued on some white popsicle sticks as well as some skinny sticks to form the rest of the bed. And once you have that, you can paint it using acrylic paint. For the mattress, I used some white cleaning sponges and then cut and glued these together to fit the size of the bed. Glue on some batting. You can then cover that with a piece of fabric. Now, you don't necessarily have to glue it onto the mattress the way I did, and you can also make it look a lot more neat. But because I know I'm not going to be able to see the bottom nor the sides, I just wrapped it kind of like a present. To make the comforter and pillows, you just want to sew or glue together two squares of fabric. And then for the comforter, I also glued on two types of lace. Flip it inside out, and then sew or glue it closed. On the pillow, I painted a crown, and for this I used acrylic paint mixed with fabric medium. Once acrylic paint has been dry for a while, it does tend to get kind of stiff and crack, so I do recommend using either acrylic paint mixed with fabric medium, or just fabric paint. To match the second pillow I made, and just to add some more detail, I also folded a piece of fabric to lay by the end of the bed. Really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.